Later in this video, we demonstrate our radar and machine learning SOLI interaction prototype. This shows, in real time, aspects of our current design space with radar sensing we call MEDIC, which stands for Mixed Mode, Expressive, Discrete, Interleaving, and Context-Aware Interactions. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration of SOLI interaction. As these applications really are only rudimentary examples of what is possible when we consider radar as a platform for sensing the stacking, ordering, and movement of planar objects. Here we begin with counting. First, thin playing cards are removed one at a time, while the total count is determined by radar sensing and classification. Next, training with different amounts of sand allows us to later recognize different classes which can be interpolated across. Sheets of paper can be stacked and counted, which gives rise to numerous possible applications. Please take a moment to look at the video in the top left, as the card counting is still underway. Fourth, the stacking and counting of poker chips is demonstrated. We return to this later in one of our application scenarios. Our technique is based on an analysis of the signal corresponding to the entire group of objects, rather than an individual item. As such, determining the order of objects is possible. Now building on the token plus constraint paradigm, we can demonstrate the determination of 64 possible credit card orders. We can also recognize the stacked order, and hence determine the shape of simple Lego structures. Here we can see the user building a shape and testing it. In the video, we can see the location of the hole in the model is recognized. Similarly, stacks of coasters or dominoes can be determined, which might be used in gaming, for example. In identification and movement, we demonstrate the sensing of finger positions on printed waveguides, which allows us to realize a planar and curved number pad, along with both small and large object rotations with playing chips and a mobile phone. In distance, we can measure the distance to objects we recognize, for example, this glass. In addition, we can identify different points on a surface, which allows us to realize sliding. With suitable training, flipping to recognize an object is face up or down is also possible. We're only scratching the surface of what's possible with Sully interaction, as it gives rise to a number of possible example applications. We might imagine objects or tokens being connected to digital content leading to applications such as a jukebox music player or a digital physical casino experience. Educational applications where unaltered objects allow learners to build mathematical expressions become possible. Thank you for watching. Please see our Imwood paper for details on our repeated studies and extensive testing of all four of these scenarios.